Hi, I'm Mike Hamilton over here at Lithia Toyota Redding, California. And today I'm going to review a 2021 Camry XSE in the wind chill with a cockpit red interior. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So I'm gonna go over some stuff you may not know about this Camry and also the Toyota light up. Some interesting things that they do in uh, this vehicle and not to even more expensive vehicles. It's, some of the things are pretty strange, but let's go over this front end here. Built off the TNGA Toyota new global ar architecture platform. It's this aggressive, bold front end here with these uh, aggressive headlights with LED accents, LED lights, and then you got that honeycomb grille. Uh, down in the middle there is the Toyota logo. Behind that is a radar system that does adaptive cruise control and pre-collision or smart stop. If it sees a vehicle that it feels it's going to collide with up to speeds of 110 miles an hour, it's going to go into a brake mode and slow down by 30 miles an hour. It also picks up pedestrians and cyclists that do and does the same and slows down by 30 miles an hour up to speeds of 50 miles an hour. Uh, coming up to the top, we can see in this daylight here, this beautiful pearl in the paint. Uh, well, from what I hear, they actually crush up real pearl and put it in the paint. And then going up to the top is uh, more stuff for the Toyota safety sense, including your camera systems and another radar system. Up there we have, uh, the again, the adaptive and smart stop, but there's also lane trace assistance in this. So just holding on to the steering wheel with that lane trace on, it will center itself up in the lane on the highway and pretty much kind of drive for itself. Exclusive to this XSE here is these Bridgestone tires, this black polished rim. I think it looks extremely attractive. And then we're going to come up to the top and we'll have turn signal indicators in our mirrors here. These do also have blind spot monitors in them. Uh, so definitely good for that and rear cross traffic alert. This has a uh, smart key system. I'm not going to pull the key out of the pocket, but it is in my right pocket. And if I want to lock this door, I just put my fingers on these two notches and I lock the door. Unlock it as easy as just grabbing the handle. And pulling on that so both front doors have that ability and I'm gonna go over one of the unique things I that this Camry being an uh, XSE XLE and XSE on up will have a dual power front seat but unlike uh, the uh, for I don't even know why the Avalon and the Highlanders that are even more expensive this has a 10-way power adjustable front passenger seat no power lumbar they get power lumbar on the other side when we're looking at those two other models they're only getting a six-way uh, powered passenger front seat which I think is extremely odd now let's get a good look at this uh, cockpit interior this cockpit red interior uh, I think it looks really cool um, definitely in unique taste and this comes in this XSE trim uh, you could also get this in a v6 version of the vehicle too This has the uh, door edge guards here. These are aluminum and painted to match. Fuel economy is extremely good on this here. This makes 206 horsepower paired to an eight speed transmission that can be sequentially shifted. 27 city, 38 highway, 31 combined. Uh, one of the only cars I know that has a five star crash test rating in every style of crash test. This is definitely one of the safest cars that you could uh, uh, be driving for as 10 airbags in this and then these a b and c pillars are so powerful that the uh, uh, jaws of life can't even be cut through as according to a fire uh, man that i sold uh, one of these two he has to get out the diamond saw if they have to extract somebody coming to the back here we're going to see our wind vortex generators again these are on pretty much every toyota today and they're meant to uh, defuse the air and clean up the air 
uh, make the ride better and give this thing a little better fill economy. On the back here, we have the uh, again the uh, air diffusers at the bottom, or what's also known as ground effects. And then you have your XSE badging in chrome, and then Camry back there with your Camry chrome badging. This is a dual exhaust system with quad tips and a very nice size trunk in this here just uh let me open that up for you holding that key fob for three seconds we'll release this trunk it has we have the way we order it you're going to see all weather floor mats for the inside and an all weather cargo liner those seats are 60 40 split so if you need to bring in larger things you could drop down one or both sides of that seat and uh and pass things that are larger through. This is where the release is for the 60-40 uh, split. Also, this one was the uh, installed with the uh, basically a, a bumper protector here, so you don't scratch your bumper up, bringing things in and out of your trunk. We have our rear defrost going across this uh, back window here, and then we have our shark fin. That's for uh, Toyota Safety Connect does your uh, GPS uh, for your Apple CarPlay Android Auto so you can bring in your uh, adaptive or uh, uh, connective maps I mean and Google uh, Google Maps and also Waze Maps are available through this and there's also an app called Remote Connect so you can remotely start this vehicle through this app on your phone in two 10 minute cycles to warm up or cool down the vehicle. It, will, it could turn on and off the climate. You have to set the climate control to the temperature you want. I could roll up your windows and check your fill levels, all available through this shark fin and the uh, connective services for this vehicle. The driver's side of the vehicle, we do have our fuel door. There is a fuel door release on the dashboard on the left-hand side where, where the driver's at. And then we'll take a look at our back seat here for our passengers. Down in the doorway here is a couple holders for bottle holders. Then the, here they get air vents. There is no USB connections back here, but there is some in that center console that could be passed through. Both back seats have pockets for books and magazines or things for the kids, iPads, put stuff in there. We got a center armrest with two more cup holders available here. And again, these are 60-40 splitting seats. So you could pass through longer things and i say this is a fairly large back seat because i had that back for me i'm six foot two and i easily have enough room matter of fact i probably got three inches left and that seat was sitting back for me already so good size cabin area let's give it a good look at the front here uh really nice here with all the lines and the uh Materials are using to give this thing a much cleaner and more refined look for a Camry. Walking up to the driver's door, we're going to see in our mirror here we have a blind spot monitoring system. So this has blind spot and rear cross traffic alert, which I will go over. Let's go ahead and open up this driver's door. We're going to find normal stuff we're going to find in every vehicle today. We have our power windows, our power mirrors, our power locks, a couple drink holders are in the door. Toyota likes to use this nicer soft hitch materials but there is still some hard plastic in here but then they use that uh, red soft hex here all over the vehicle for that cockpit red. Coming up on the uh, dashboard is this where we have our A that's basically that button is your auto dimming high beams. We have our traction control off button uh, opening up our trunk from the uh, inside and also our gas door release is all on here and then we have for the driver here this is 10-way power with the power lumbar on this too here we go i'm going to go with the uh tib of information you probably didn't know about before uh, all four windows are uh, completely automatic so if i push down and i let go it's going to roll all the way down and I, it rolls all the way up that's all four windows uh, also, this has a uh, pinch guard on this here, so let me show you that. I'll put my fingers up in here, and then once it touches again, let me show you that again. Once it touches, it's going to back off, 
and so your child won't get their fingers pinched if they roll up the windows on uh, on this vehicle now I just sold a uh, boy if you look in my video you're gonna see this black thumbnail here that happened sometime in like mid-December I think and I was selling a used Kia Optima did not have the pinch guard I roll up the window and my thumb got stuck and I had a blood blister and had to pop it and now I got a ugly black fingernail so something nice to know about this Camry that that is available for this vehicle in front of me is the largest driver's information screen available I think that is seven inches and this will give you the most information pretty much of any to it as far as what the driver gets digitally so we're on our eco screen right here and it's going to give us uh, fill range the fuel economy what it's getting uh, you get a digital miles per hour on this screen here and it has no economy because it's really got five miles on it next screen over here is our adaptive our radar cruise control lane departure with steer assist and also our lane trace on here so uh, those lines will light up above 32 miles an hour when they turn white then the uh, system is seeing the lines in the road and setting that cruise control will start that lane tracing and then there'll be blue lines that come outside those white lines and then just holding the steering wheel with one hand like this it will uh, basically center itself in the lane for the most part and drive itself down the middle of the road I'll show you the uh, adaptive cruise control those three bars are for three seconds of pacing behind a slower vehicle that's two and a half in two seconds let's go over to the next screen here then we have our audio information on this screen so it's set for Sirius XM radio and I will go over that in a bit and then this gives us more drivers information it tells us what our PSI is like um, so on one side it's got 40 PSI and we got 39 37 uh, and then it will give us all our stuff, our pre-collision, our blind spot monitoring, our rear cross traffic alert screens on here. And back to that PSI. And then we have our all our Toyota Safety Sense stuff here. We have our lane departure and then our lane trace are part of that button there. Uh, we have our pre-collision that works up to 110 miles an hour. We'll slow down by 30 miles an hour if it sees a... Uh, vehicle that it thinks it's going to collide with and does the same with pedestrians up to speeds of 50 miles an hour then we have our blind spot monitoring systems so we have blind spots in these mirrors if I turn it off and back on it'll light up and tell you that and that also uses that for that rear cross traffic alert I like this this is something that's pretty pretty trick here so sonar around the corner is going to see for you as you're backing out of a spot blind and then it's going to beep internally if a person walk into a vehicle coming and it's going to flash in your blind spot mirror from what direction that person or vehicle is coming from uh, and then then we have our reads our speed limits here uh, so the uh, camera system that's up in the windshield will see speed limits as you go by and display those on this screen that I'm showing you right now and then back to the uh, we got back to the home screen here or, or the eco screen I like to keep this the radar ready and uh, lane trace screen is the home screen that gets the digital miles per hour there on the right hand side along with your your tachometer for analog gauges and uh, speedometer and of course your fuel and temperature gauges there all that center screen information there driver's information center is all controlled by these toggles here uh, and then it's like a back arrow just like you're using a cell phone uh, getting phone calls you could either pick it up from the big infotainment screen or you can push this button and that will pick up a incoming phone call we have our radio information down at the bottom so we could switch our our radio or sources and then we have all our cruise control information over here so setting that cruise control um, and then setting the uh, lane departure and adaptive cruise control or or optional and then back behind here this thing has a paddle shifters okay this is on an eight speed transmission so we could sequentially shift this which is kind of neat um, and then you got your lights on one side with turn signals and then your windshield wiper is on the other side coming to the bottom here we have push start this is again proximity key 
and available push start. And then we have our air climate control. So this is the his and hers or dual climate controls, which I have it set. So on, on dual climate, if I want to sync it in, then it, then the driver's side gets uh, both sides of your alone. You have your off, your fan speeds here. And then we have, then we have our modes here. So different flows. And then inside, outside air and AC on, front defrost, rear defrost, and heated mirrors are over here. We have our primary USB port right here. This is the one that ports your phone in to do Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Then we have a 12 volt power port. And then on here is a wireless charging pad known as a Qi Wireless, spelled QI. That's QI. Uh, and that's more than just Toyotas, but that is a, a wireless charging pad for your cell phone. And then this uh, vehicle has driving mode. So Really nice about this is the electronic uh, emergency parking brake. No need to set it when you, if once you take it and put it in drive, it goes out or reverse, it goes off. And then when you put it in park, it turns itself back on. We have a hold button, that's a brake hold button. So when that's set, I would like to call that a uh, hill, hill start assist so the vehicle doesn't roll backwards. So once the brake hold is on, you can take your foot off the gas pedal or brake pedal and it will not roll backwards or move until you hit the gas pedal. Um, sequentially shifting this could be shifted here. We get more cup holders. Down here we got a pocket for sport storage. We have three stage heated seats for both driver and passenger, front passenger here. And then we get two more USBs in the bottom there uh, that you could bring to the uh, rear passengers for, for their power needs too. In the center here is our large over 10 inch infotainment screen that's going to give us what's called a three panel that it's set in right now so we have a uh, our fuel economy with five miles on the vehicle it thinks it's only getting six miles per gallon and how much uh, miles to empty this is where your phone connection will be once the phone's connected and then it's going to give you your audio source and it has a map button that you could bring in through apple carplay android auto google and Waze maps are available uh, then we have if I go to menu here, when we go and plug into that primary port for Apple CarPlay and Android, all of this will turn to CarPlay or Android. And then you push that button and it ports the screen into the system here. Also, this is the, uh, the standard audio system. This vehicle can have the JB Audio with premium sound. If there was that, we would see little tweeters up on that A-pillar where I got the camera right now, but this is a standard system. Uh, it still has Sirius XM and Bluetooth, AM, FM, of course, for all your different sources. And, and it's a pretty decent stereo, even though it's not the premium system. Another thing I want to take a look at here is the uh, materials and fit and finish. So Toyota's got, went from these hard dashboards not too long ago. All this is now a soft touch material. It's real spongy. And then we got the uh, gloss black uh, polish look. And they always like to do some nickel in there in like faux uh, carbon fiber looks just to give this thing a, a more refined look. I think it looks really good. Um, then you get this red cockpit leather, again, that synthetic leather that Toyota's gone to uh, for this vehicle with this heavy stitching to tie this all into. Coming up to the top here is our auto mean rear view mirror. It also has our garage door memory sets. Our home link is on here. And then up on top here, this has... LED reading lights on here and then we have a uh, special button very similar to what OnStar is. Toyota's had this out for a while now and they're just incorporating everything they have but uh, this has our safety connect so in our SOS which uh, um, if the vehicle is in an accident where airbags deploy it will alert the call center they'll be calling you to ask if you need help They'll know how your GPS coordinates, know how fast you are going. If you're in an emergency, you could call them. It also does trial stuff 
uh, like the uh, remote connect services for uh, starting the vehicle and all that stuff I explained earlier. Um, but then it has uh, roadside assistance, getting tech support, stolen vehicle locator, are all part of this SOS button on the trial subscription for a year. But the safety uh, will never be a subscription that will work forever. Again, I'm Mike Hamilton, Lithia Toyota Redding, California. One of very, so many different trims of a Camry. Now this uh, cockpit red could come in a V6. This cockpit red could have the panoramic sunroof and the regular sunroof on this here. So there's uh, different options available for this vehicle. There's also a different version of this vehicle known as a Tier D version uh, that has basically not as expensive, but it's the V6 version of the vehicle. But it's not as expensive as a typical XSE or XLE. Uh, that I believe that cockpit red is available for. But nice features in this vehicle, great safety, uh, reliability. Again, I know Toyota is uh, still pushing cars and the market's put going towards SUVs, but this segment still has 5 million sales per year in the United States, and this is the number one selling vehicle of that segment. So I don't think Toyota's ever going to get rid of this here. So I know they'll probably cut back production, but... They're not even still that far behind the number one in Toyota's line, which is the RAV4. I mean, they're just a, maybe 20,000, 30,000 less than what the RAV4 is selling. Um, but again, this is still a desirable vehicle at a great price for the most part. Um, legendary reliability and tons of safety in this vehicle. You can't go wrong picking this vehicle as a vehicle for your choice and your family. Thank you for watching my video. Have a great day.